Brock the residents, Mayor Sullivan here at City Hall, 39th episode of Our Brockton, and the title speaks volumes, right? It's Our Brockton, it's our community. And today, uh, I'll be leaving here in the mayor's office Saturday morning. I'm gonna be heading up to Heights Crossing. Uh, today's Keep Brockton Beautiful Day. And we have so many wonderful volunteer residents and business owners, uh, folks from my office here. We are gonna be meeting in just a little while. I gotta get out of my suit and get up there. And uh, I wanna thank the DPW. I wanna thank Pat Hill, the commissioner, Pat Sullivan, who has been working on Keep Rockton Beautiful for just so long. The wonderful folks at Heights Crossing, we are back up there this year. Last year we had a pivot because of COVID and we were outdoors in front of the administration of Brockton High School, but we're back at Heights Crossing. I wanna thank our friends at Republic that provides our trash services and pick up. They're volunteering uh, some people today and some supplies and some bags. And you know, this is really a wonderful endeavor. Um, you know, my role as mayor is to make sure we have a healthy, safe, clean city of champions. So again, we do this historically one day a year. My goal now is with with COVID you know, decreasing, we're gonna be able to do this much more often. We need to do that. But again, it's just a really wonderful day keeping Brockton beautiful. And I do wanna thank all of the wonderful volunteers and I'll see you out uh, where I'm cleaning today with my team members is up on uh, North Pearl Street near the Historic Society, uh, near the Fire Museum, up to Melrose Cemetery. We're gonna clean that area of the city today. So be well, be safe. And uh, again, I wanna thank everybody that uh, is participating. And if you're unable to do it today, we'll see you next year. Keep Brockton beautiful. director couldn't be here uh, but we are so grateful to have you here we're so happy to host you and if anyone would like to come back for a private tour of the community afterwards I'm happy to show you um, and if not come back and see us again we'll see you at the mayor's summer concert series and we're really looking forward to bringing that back that will be a great celebration um, for the July city 6th. as well as our residents we can't wait to have you back thank you Kathleen so Kathleen has uh, in her prior life, she worked for the Chamber of Commerce, Metro South with Chris Cooney, and she has just been a, a wonderful, wonderful partner um, throughout the community. So thank you very much. I also want to thank all the uh, the staff members here um, that really do yeoman's work each and every day, um, and of course the wonderful uh, the two chefs that just cooked us lunch. Um, I want to thank Chris and his team at Republic. I want to thank Pat Sullivan. I want to thank Pat Hill, Ernie Bethany, the team um, from DP, DPW, Mark Peterson. Um, I also want to thank Councilor Shirley Azak, Councilor Jeff Thompson, who I believe is in route, uh, Timothy Cruz, Plymouth County DA. I want to thank um, all of you. I want to thank Ben from the DA's office. I want to thank Megan, the city solicitor, uh, Sydney Marrow, my chief of staff, my team over there. Judy Sullivan, another elected official here in the city of Brockton, school committee woman. Um, and again, I, I joke about this, but um, we do this once a year. We need to do it more than that. But there are two people in the city of Brockton that do it every day. Um, this is Pete Antonio, Linda P, and Kelly Hanlon. Um, they are real, and I mean this, they, I love baseball. They're the Ted Williams and Kyle Yastrzemski of Brockton. They're the Hall of Famers. They go out each and every day to clean Brockton. So when we talk about um, keeping Brockton beautiful, they're the example, right? And so as mayor, um, I'm just so honored to be here. I'm so pleased that we can come back here this year because the COVID numbers have decreased. Of course, last year we, we, we still had it up at Brockton High. Um, and Kathleen just mentioned the summer concert series. Um, Jensen Denoy's in my office um, and Davidson Perez in my office have uh, been working on that. It will be back here and it's gonna be unbelievable. It's gonna be awesome. I wanna thank John Messia, uh, my director of constituent services as well. There's a lot of people that have donated uh, really wonderful, wonderful raffle prizes today. I mean, awesome, awesome things. Um, Republic always does. Uh, Tim Carpenter from, uh, from um, Cemetery and Parks. We have a round of golf uh, at DW Golf Course. Um, Davidson Perez in his previous life worked for the Boston Red Sox. So the Boston Red Sox and, and Mr. Henry donated a wonderful grand prize that we'll be able to give today. 
Um, and I'm going to pass the, the mic over to the Ward 7 City Council, former Council President Shirley Azak. But again, thank you, thank you, thank you for what you do each and every day. We are truly better together here in the City of Champions. But today was a special day and the rain held off. So be well, stay safe, enjoy the weekend. And if you're a mom, happy Mother's Day tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. It was a little cold this morning, but the sun's coming out. So once again, I'm not going to repeat what the mayor said, but thank you to Heights Crossing for hosting us all these years uh, here, and definitely a big thank you to Pat Sullivan. Um, without him, you know, he's the um, during the pandemic, it was tough because in 2020, it was canceled. And then in 2021, we didn't do it here out of just um, some of the fear of COVID. But then we did it this year um, to get back to normalcy, I think, a little bit. We've been doing it for over 20 years, I believe, where we sponsored it here, where the people of Brockton came here and picked up rakes, work gloves, you know, leaf bags, and then went out to the community and cleaned up the parks and the ballparks and the uh, corners and the streets. And then they would always come back here for a cookout and the mayor would do some raffles and a speech. So it was always good to be part of the community because most of our residents here are from the Brockton area or from Brockton itself. And almost 100% of my employees are from Brockton. The spirit of the city sh shined through those volunteers who showed up in that cold weather and, um, got involved. Um, you know, the past two years, the senior living space has been faced with a major challenge. Um, this building was renovated in 2020 and we couldn't celebrate that. So just being able to open the doors to the community again and show off our amenities and all of our Brighton spaces and our beautiful patio was something that's been a long time coming and it felt really good to open the doors back up to the community. Coffee in the morning, water and snacks in the afternoon, and straight ahead is a card room that if you wanted to play bridge or poker or any type of card game, you could just go in there and, and use that. Um, we also use that as a um, conference room too, if you need a conference room. So this is really the biggest plus to the building is being with socializing with other people and coming down and, and enjoying a meal and talking to your friends. So everything is served by waiters and waitresses. You have a menu. There's usually two specials and then we have what we call an every, every day or always served menu that people can pick. And this is our arts and media room where most of the activities happen. We also have computer access. We stream a lot of activities in here. Um, we also have religious services too. So um, we have a beauty salon here also so people can get their hair done uh, we can do manicures pedicures we have a fitness room here we have a fitness coordinator in the room when our residents are in there but there's a recumbent bikes a treadmill and some uh, weight resistance um, movies every night we also do exercise class here every morning um, so it's a larger function room so all our rooms have kitchenettes with the full refrigerator and a microwave oven and again this is a studio this is one room. So this is a full kitchen available for any resident and their families. A lot of families will bring in pizzas or Chinese food and take this room over and it'd be, it's a little less formal than downstairs. But um, we also have cooking classes in here. Our head of our activities has a, a chef, uh, Johnson Wells degree, culinary degree. So he does his, I'll use Emeril Lagasse because he's local, but it has Emeril Lagasse invitation up here all the time. The experience has been far better than I expected, to tell you the truth. Everyone here is lovely, they're so helpful and kind, and the food is out of this world. <laughs> Everyone has to say that because it is out of this world. And uh, it's just been a great, great experience. And I'll be here for quite a while, so I'm happy about that. I think Brockton sometimes gets a bad uh, reputation sometimes, um, and I think what we like to show is that Brockton is a great place to live. It's a great place to work. Um, it's a strong community. Um, people are very prideful of being from Brockton. They wear it on their sleeve and they're, they're very proud of being from the city of champions. And you can, you hear that from especially long um, residing residents from the city. And I think, I, I think Brockton is, a, is just a, a great community and Brockton environment is, is just to show off the, really the, the greatness and the, you know, the, 
golf courses and just the nice things of Brockton that I think people forget about um, because sometimes you know the worst things are on the in the paper but not the great things like this keep Brockton beautiful day those are the things that should be on the front page of the paper to show how strong the community is I was born in the city of Brockton and I lived here till I was about eight I moved out but something always pulled me back whether that was my family who remained um, I think Brockton represents um, diversity and culture that is um, exceptional and different. I think people from who aren't from Brockton, they really don't get it. Um, and I'm happy to share and um, change their point of view and expose them to some of the wonderful things within the city. So I just think that's what I love about Brockton, um, the history, diversity, and just extremely um, robust cultural community that I I'm excited to celebrate. We're originally from Brockton for like, uh, our kids were brought up here, went to school here. Um, I have to say we, I don't know, 28 years I think we were here then. We moved out of town for a few years and now we're back and we're happy and it's like we never left. We're getting back to sponsoring the Mayor's Concert Summer Concert Series, which is eight concerts here. They start July 6th of this year. And again, because of the pandemic, it's been a two-year hiatus that we haven't been able to do it. And it's just nice to have invite the uh, residents of Brockton to come here. Um, our residents get to hear the concerts. Um, we get between 100 and 200 people here for each show. Um, and again, it's, it's just nice connection back into the city. Um, because of our strong Brockton roots here.